here at Local 4, we like to shine a light on people and organizations that go for it and make a difference in the community. And today, you have a chance to be part of a special effort to help Haven, a 24-hour emergency shelter that helps survivors of domestic abuse and sexual assault. Local 4's Karen Drew is joining us live from Pontiac right now with how you can help. Hey, Karen. You can keep working, Patricia. We are busy over here. We, I want you guys to take a look. We asked for donations. We asked for dollars. Sarah Khan up. Take a look at these shelves. This was empty earlier this morning, and we have collected so many basic needs, toiletries. This is just one section of the garage. The donations keep coming in. The people are coming in. We've got Walmart over here. They have 30 people that are volunteering their time and their efforts. My good friend Priya. Watch out, Sarah. Back up. Uh, Hi. Morning. Well, I've been busy uh, organizing because some of the items that we need the most, we've got bedding, we've got toiletries here, they need shower curtains, laundry soap. There is a lot of items and as you saw in the shed, it is filling up. Karen, when I was here at 6 a.m., it was empty. And now, look at it. You want to turn over here? Come on. Come over here, Sarah. <laughs> and when you see all of yeah, these items the that have been... Look at, look at Darnell also, hard at work. What an amazing event. And I know you spent a lot of time here at Haven talking to the fine folks here. What's been your impression? I've been talking with a lot of the survivors, and I really think it's really important to reference the, how many people are victims of domestic violence or sexual assault. We use this number one in four, and I can tell you in my close circle of friends and the people that I know, um, the stories are real. Yeah. And I think people stereotype. People think it's going to be, oh, this person or this person, or... Or how about the question, why didn't you leave? Don't even get me started. Right? How about how did I survive and why did I live? Right. You know, right. I get so upset about that because people don't get what it is to be a victim of violence. Yeah. I personally have gone through that years and years ago. Um, and, and you're a survivor. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not about what you necessarily... It, it's recreating your life. Absolutely. And taking those steps forward and also sharing your story. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're sharing stories. We're talking about triumphs. We're talking about Haven and what they do here. Incredible. Because you did a lot of the stories about behind the scenes. That's right. And we're talking advocacy, folks who go to the courts to help people with PPOs or if there's a family dispute with kids involved. I was speaking to a survivor. Ten years she spent in and out of Haven because those resources, it takes time for you to actually rebuild. But what's happening in these walls is so inspiring and what's happening behind us yes. is incredible. We've seen car after car with folks dropping off donations. You've been busy. We have been busy. And I want to bring in Christy. Chris, she is the uh, uh, the chair of the board of yes. this wonderful, beautiful place. Yeah. I think it's dreamlike only in the sense that so many women have gone through nightmares. Yes. And they come here and you help them. Talk to me a little bit about um, why this place is so important and vital. And it's been 50 years. People who are in this type of situation have to have a safe place to go just they a lot of times they leave with nothing but what they have on their backs um, I I don't know if you knew we even have a pet area that some people like to bring their pets because they're afraid of what's going to happen if they leave them home and I, mean, I was visiting the other day I saw yeah. two little dogs I was like wow you guys yeah. have thought of everything yeah. so so some of the basic needs are even for pet supplies so it, it just is really important for people to feel that there is a safe place they have support um, we don't have an agenda. It's we believe whatever the person is telling us that we are just there to support them and what empower them in their move forward and whatever that journey might be. We have what thirty thousand services probably rendered in a sense yeah. in a year. Yes. Yeah, which is unfortunate and fortunate that because at least you're yeah, here. Yeah, there's the need. One one of the goals is to eradicate you know, domestic violence and sexual assault. But uh, until that happens, we're here to support the survivors. What would you like that one thing for someone to learn if they happen just to be tuning in and, and learning a little bit more about domestic violence and sexual assault? What do we need to educate the public about? That the survivors are not at fault. That it is not, it is total fault of the abuser and that they should not feel that that it is on them. It is not on them. And, and it doesn't matter place. if they've stayed for one day, one year, or ten years. Right. When they're ready to leave, you're here. Well, and often it takes seven attempts. It does. It does. And yeah. it takes the time to file the PPOs and ask for the help and bring in the judges and do all of that. And have the people trust these right. victims and make them right. realize. Right. And that's, that's where we are. We're a safe, trusting place. 
you can trust us that we are there to support whatever it is that you need. You're doing great things. We've got some good news. Come on over here. Free okay, up. we've got great news. So yes. we've already learned that we've raised $4,300 so far. Great. But get this, I have one more big reveal. Mason Brunson from Walmart, come on over here. Take a look at this check, guys. Karen, look at this, $5,000 to Haven. Thank yeah, you, Mason. Absolutely. So we've been partnering with Haven for a couple Woo! years now. Thank you. We brought some associates out here today. We feel so strongly about the cause. So Haven have been such good partners yeah. to us. They help our communities, our associates. Uh, we got 30,000 associates here in Michigan. Volunteering. Um, we've got 30 of them here today, 30,000 yeah. total. A lot of them have experienced some of the same stuff that you were talking about, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, life happens uh, and we want to be here for them. So. We were really moved by the cause. We want to help out, and this is this is our donation. Oh, and this is absolutely incredible. And thank you so much for being out here. Five thousand dollars, Karen. Yeah, it's a big deal, isn't and, it? And we just got started, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah absolutely. we are so that's appreciative lot, right? for your support. Yeah. How will this help? Uh, it will give a lot of basic needs uh, support, the you know counseling, all of the things that people rely on from Haven. We did. We, we sat down and talked with a lot of people who are survivors and victims mm -hmm. and have moved and created their lives into a, a next new chapter. We've got those stories right now on ClickOnDetroit.com. We will have them throughout our newscast. We want to remind everybody, this is about people. These are your daughters, your sisters, your aunts. And your, your sons and your fathers. And yes, this happens to men as true. well. This is really important that we understand that this is, an, this is a problem that doesn't care about socioeconomic status. It doesn't care about race, where, what your demographic is. It can cut across all those lines. And that's why donations like this... And what we're seeing happening behind us are so important. And it's about children. Um, yes. Coming up today at 545, I sat down with a mom. Her six-year-old son was murdered um, from his father, and it was a case of domestic violence and fighting over custody of a child. So this just goes through yeah. all different realms of family and yeah. counties, and we need to recognize this is going on in our community. Yes, and talk and about it. We can help. So yes. please, we're asking people, stop by here. We're at 801 Vanguard in Pontiac. It's right off of Telegraph. Super easy to stop by. Absolutely. You can use the QR code. You can make a donation. I think we're going to make. Uh, we're going to do some great things and really change lives today. We're almost at 10 grand already, and it's not even noon. Woo! Awesome. Thank you so Thank much, you so we'll much Karen and Priya. Thank you both so much.